Howdy. In this lesson, we're going to start our talk about the vortex panel method by introducing the derivation of the flow around constant strength panels. So what we're interested in here is how a panel of constant strength, meaning that our gamma is a constant along this surface, we're interested in how this panel affects the velocity and the stream function at a point. We'll call this point x, y. So each segment of this panel, which we're going to call a d psi, is going to have some differential circulation that we'll call d gamma. And it will act on this point x, y, just like a point vortex would. And we're going to call this distance between our segments and our point an r psi. So starting with the stream function, we want to look at the influence of each section on the stream function. So the differential stream function is going to be equal to negative 1 over 2 pi times the natural log of r psi. And all of this is going to be multiplied by a d capital gamma. And whenever we substitute in our d gamma, we end up with a negative lowercase gamma over 2 pi times the natural log of r psi times d psi. So now we need to integrate this over psi. So we have gamma, or sorry, psi is equal to negative integral from 0 to L, which is the length of our panel, of gamma over 2 pi times the natural log of this r psi term. So this r psi is going to be the square root, and then we're going to have x minus psi. So this distance is psi, x minus psi squared plus y squared. And this is all d psi. So what we're saying here is that this point at the left end of the panel is going to be where psi is equal to 0. And this point over here will be psi is equal to this lowercase l, which is the length of our panel. Um, whenever we do this integration, a couple more terms pop out. And those are this r2, which is what we're going to call the distance between this point at the end and this xy. And then we'll also have an r1, which is the distance to the other side of the panel. We're also going to be interested in these angles. So we'll call this guy theta1, and we'll call this guy theta2. So the integral of all this is going to be gamma over 2 pi x times the natural log. Then we have these this ratio of distances, r2 and r1, minus the length of the panel times the natural log of r2. And then we also add y times theta 2 minus theta 1. So r2 is simply this uh, square root of x minus l squared plus y squared. r1 is the square root of x squared plus y squared. Um, this theta 2 is going to be the arctangent, or the inverse tangent, of y over x minus l. And this theta 1 is going to be the inverse tangent 
of just y over x. So the actual integration here is really tricky uh, and involves either looking up this integral in a table of integrals or plugging this directly into a uh, symbolic solver such as Wolfram Alpha and getting, uh, getting this and simplifying it into the form that you see here. Um, likewise, you can take the derivative in the same way or you can just uh, brute force the derivative to find the value of u and v. So u is equal to the derivative of our stream function psi uh, with respect to y. And there's a lot more terms here, but the one that we're interested in is gamma over two pi times theta two minus theta one. So that just comes specifically from this term. Now as for all the rest, you're gonna end up with a gamma over two pi times x d by dy, you will get this term, uh, natural log of r2 over r1, the parentheses there, uh, minus the derivative of this term, which is l d by dy times the natural log of r2, and then y times the derivative of this term, which is d by dy of theta two minus theta one. And we barely fit. So there's a lot more math to do here, but to cut a long story short, all this ends up being zero. All these terms end up canceling out and you're left with nothing, nothing contributed from all of these terms. So we'll do the same thing with v and v is equal to negative d psi dx and the term that we end up with is a negative gamma over 2 pi times a natural log of r2 over r1. And once again, there are a lot of other terms uh, from the rest of the, the psi terms but they end up canceling out. And we're not going to show them all, but you can trust me that they do end up canceling out. Um, and the bottom line is that we end up with a term for psi here, our stream function, and we end up with values for our u and v, which is everything that for our constant panel.